home and take the dogs a walk. That's what I tend to do, Scotty, you know. That chief uh, executive cannot do that. Correct. He yeah. cannot have a dog. I can remember a head of the security services would have loved to have had a Labrador, but couldn't. Yeah. Goodness. I suppose just, just the couldn't. they can't switch off. They're, they're, they're stuck in their job. Well, it's not only that. I mean, you're based in central London. Your work is non-stop. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and even any time you get out, if you're a senior public figure, you're probably yeah. going to be speaking at a dinner. You're probably going to be hosting a dinner. You're probably uh -huh. going to be having meetings well into the night. Like, so you think well, that would probably Nicholas Dutton. And, and so you're going, oh, what's the time? So it's, it's uh, quarter to one in, in the morning or in daytime? In yeah. the morning. Oh, good goodness sake. I've got to speak to somebody at half past seven. I must go to bed. Aye, I know. I know. That would be tough to have that lifestyle, Scotty. I wouldn't cope well with that at all. Well, that's where you get the burner, but then you also see fantastic people, and I have met them. Uh, I've gone to see very senior executives, and the desk is clear. Ah, right. And I remember a lovely joke. Um, I said, I went to see so-and-so yesterday. This was to his retired company secretary, who knew him very well, loved him. I said, I went to see so-and-so yesterday. I said, he was so relaxed that there wasn't a thing at his desk. And he said, no wonder he's relaxed. He's got nothing to do. Now, that's just a send-up. But yeah. it's, a, it's a lovely, humorous, funny thing, you know, because yeah. if all your execs are doing their job, you should be able to have a clear desk and a clear mind because a chief uh -huh. executive needs time to think. Uh -huh. They actually yeah. need to sit back. So very often, say you say you and I were to go and meet a chief executive right now of a big named company, and uh -huh. somebody said, uh, I'll just show you right in, gentlemen. This is uh, Kareem and Scotty. Hello, gents. Lovely to meet you. I've heard yeah. you on the show, uh, yeah. you know. And then he would sit and he would say, what can I do for you? So there's no side, there's no edge, nothing like that. We tell him why we're there, and then he looks and goes silent because he's soaking up us. He's soaking up the ambiance that we've created or not. He's processing the idea that we've told him and he's also looking for a SWOT analysis. There's an old-fashioned one. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and 